Hi, I'm Bob Rubart with the Oracle Technology Network, and this is another two-minute tech tip. Today's tipster is Oracle Ace Associate Antonis Antoniou. Antonis is a technical director with eProceed, an Oracle Platinum partner, where he specializes in Fusion middleware. How are you today, Antonis? I'm doing great, Bob. Thank you. How are you? I'm good, thanks. So what is the topic of your tech tip? So today I'm going to talk about two new developer-centric error handling and recovery features in Oracle BPN 12C. Uh, the force commit on activity complete and the skip and back error recovery. If you are ready, your two minutes begins now. So the force commit on activity complete is an entirely new and declarative feature in Oracle BPN 12C that you can configure your activities, events, and gateways to explicitly force the BPM runtime to add a checkpoint in the dehydration store to commit the state of your BPM instance after an activity is executed. Uh, why is this important? Well, in case of an exception, the BPMN engine will roll back the transaction to the last dehydration checkpoint. Any activities that haven't been marked with the force commit on activity complete will get re-executed. To achieve such functionality in LiveNG, we had to trick the engine by using a timer catch event to define the dehydration checkpoint and set the duration to one, more than one second. My second tip is on the skip and back error recovery. Another declarative feature that has been introduced in Oracle BPM 12C that you can define on a flow object to choose whether to re-execute a photo flow object or simply skip it and move to the next flow object as defined in your process flow. We're provided with a new predefined variable called action that you can set using either a data association or a Groovy script using either the skip back or send uh, value. The default value is sent and can be thought as a try catch block where your activity is in the try block and your error handler is in the catch block. Back will move your process instance back to the flow object where the exception happens, while skip as the name seconds. will simply skip the photo flow object and move to the next activity in your process flow. You can check out my OTN article for more details on how to use these new features. Thank you. <laughs> Antonis, great tip. Let's do this again sometime. For sure. Thanks, Bob. <laughs>